Texas state troopers have been caught uh, doing cavity searches on women that did not need to have cavity searches done on them. They got, they got caught on dash cams uh, doing the following. These videos are a little difficult to watch, so I want to give you guys fair warning. And with that said, let's take a look. That's oh, crazy. Now that video was released in December of 2012 and the update to that story is that the trooper in that video, Kelly Hellinson, uh, has been fired and uh, has been charged with two counts of sexual assault. She had no probable cause. Um, in, in both cases, we're about to show you the second case, uh, the women got stopped for routine traffic violations. In one case, someone was speeding. In the other case, someone had thrown a cigarette outside of her window. So they were searching for marijuana. They asked, hey, is there marijuana on you? and the women are like no there's no marijuana on us and they're like we don't believe you they put their gloves on and proceeded to search them now I have a theory on this which I'll get to after the second video and I'm curious to see if that my theory is warranted in the mm -hmm. second video but uh, one quick note here I'm so glad that not only was she fired but that she was charged with sexual assault yeah because that's all <laughs> out in the open first of all you have no probable cause to, to search her like that and you're doing it out in the open in front of everyone by the way if there was a couple in a relationship doing that outside where a guy is feeling a woman up like that, he would be arrested, she would be arrested as well, right? For indecent exposure, whatever it is. And, and why is it okay, why would a cop think that it's okay to do that out in the open like that, to violate a person like that? Because power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Obviously she thought she can get away with it. Now we don't know how many times she did that and did get away with it. Yeah. This time she happened to be caught. So let's take a look at the second video. So I don't know if what I'm about to say is wrong, but I always wonder if the women that they're doing this to are attractive. Because if they're attractive, I think the reality is it's much more likely to be sexual. And almost every single time that we show a video like this, the women are attractive. And that's, it can't be a coincidence. And I came into this story without seeing the videos first. I was curious to see if they were gonna be attractive again. And they were both very attractive women, right? So you don't, how is it that they never do it to an 89 year old grandmother? Now you might say it's because they might not have suspected them of marijuana, they suspect younger people. Mm -hmm. It's just awfully convenient. And besides which, look at it, it's obviously sexual. And nobody, there's no manual in a, uh, when you sign up for the police that says, oh yeah, 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 if you pull a, a, a woman over, attractive or not, you know, go ahead and do a cavity search and spend all that time down there playing around with her body parts. In one of the cases, uh, there was a male officer involved, and of course he can't do the cavity search. So as I watch the video, I think of him in the background watching a female officer you know, do the cavity search. And like, you're right, look, it's really speculation on our part and we should be absolutely clear on that. But at the same time, you can't help but think of you know, these cops getting some sort of pleasure or enjoyment out of it because again, why? Why out of nowhere, after a routine traffic violation, would they think, hey, let me search these women for marijuana. They might be hiding marijuana, you know, down there. No, look, she got charged with sexual assault because it was sexual. Absolutely. Okay, and just because she's a woman, I remember we did a, a, a very similar story and people were like, but she was a woman, so what? There aren't lesbians in the world? Like, wow, mystery solved, right? It's not to blame all cops, it's not to blame all lesbians, it's to blame this particular one who clearly, you have the video in front of you, committed sexual assault. 